Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, uh, Rolo88 coming at you live in the flesh. I wanted to talk about the satanic agenda today. And, um, well, basically, what they're doing is they are holding rituals, they are um, sacrificing kids, they are, a lot of them are pedophiles and stuff. Um, and if they're not pedof into pedophilia, they're into bestiality or probably necrophilia. I don't know how sick these people go, but um, anyways, the whole point is <clears throat> they're trying to devalue human life so much, and they're trying to say, you know what, how could God love you based on their ritual sacrifices and satanic? They're committing horrible sins and by proxy, they're putting their sins on you, on all of society, because that's what's happening. They're watering down society and making it dumber, first of all. And then they are um, instituting their agenda, um, which is Satanism, basically. They want everybody to be a Satanist, and they want people to worship God, but they want people to worship Satan as God, lowercase g, you know what I mean? So, anyways, the funny thing is, though, these people, they want uh, life itself to seem like it's so meaningless and so stupid, which it's not. Life has full meaning. I am this close to figuring out the meaning of life, my people, and um, they couldn't be farther away from having, you know, a vapor of an idea of what the meaning of life is. Um, so anyways, I think the meaning of life is to bring people to Jesus so that they can get to heaven, so I'm not up there alone. And in the end, um, when these people have completely rebelled against God and turned people away from God and they've gotten the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, the satanic Illuminati agenda, has come full circle and they've completed all their earthly goals because that's all they have is earthly goals. They don't have any afterlife goals. They don't have any spiritual goals. They don't have any goals to see their family or their fallen loved ones. They're communists, okay? They don't care about their fallen loved ones. They don't care about families. They don't care about your family. They don't care about family values. They don't care how hard you're working. They don't care. They're not going to reward that. The only re reward you're going to get is, oh, here, you have to have this chip implanted in your forehead in order to buy and sell. And don't take it. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Because that is worth more than all the money in the world, following Jesus is. And honestly, I thought I heard a news story where they said they were going to have guillotines to chop people's heads off that didn't want the chip. Well, hey, I don't want the chip. Go ahead and chop my head off. I don't care. The fact is... If the, if this if that's <laughs> if those are the acts that they're doing and they're getting away with it and not just that if the if if those are the acts that they're doing and on this earth that's what they're going to be remembered for eternally okay um if they turn god into just nothingness or if they turn god into satan which they've already done for themselves uh, the Pope wears that hat that's like a fish head, right? And we know fish, uh, you know, there's that sexuality thing. Uh, you know, if, if something smells fishy, whatever, it, you know, uh, it's no good, right? Um, so, yeah, anyways. Um, they worship the abyss, the serpent, the fish, all that stuff. It's not good. So, in the end, God does love us very much and he will reward anyone who takes up their cross and follows Jesus and um, but if they never repent and they never find Jesus and they never repent to God or give or talk to Jesus or pray or any of that if they never ever do that if Jesus himself comes down from heaven and says do you repent of your ways do you want to go to heaven or do you not do you want to go to hell these are the people that will say nah I'm good I don't want to repent and they'll go to hell so like, this is very serious, guys. This is eternity. I don't know if you know this, uh, because a lot of you guys are really not that intelligent. Um, so, anyways, I mean, it's true. 
you're like, ah, I'm an atheist. No, you're a Satanist. Like, we see through that charade. It's a fallacy. Um, so, anyways, yeah, God's not going to love them in the end. So, their uh, prophecy, it's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. God doesn't love you. God doesn't love you. God doesn't love you. No, he loves me. See, but in the end, because you never repented or found Jesus, he's not going to love you. He is going to send you to that lake of fire. So don't take the RFID chip. Go with Jesus. Repent of your sins. And don't support the New World Order. And, uh, I don't know, love your family. Because you only get one family, you only get one life. And their communist agenda is trying to make all life seem like it doesn't matter. They're putting you in that hive mentality, us versus them. Them being the free thinking people like me. I am their enemy, okay? I am their enemy. I'm Pope, or dope. I'm going to call him dope. I'm dope Francis's number one enemy, all right? You dirty pedophile. The whole church, man. Or not the whole church. The church is the body of Christ. What you've got over there in the Vatican is a an altar to Satan. So I just want everybody to know that. Like, comment, subscribe. God loves you. God doesn't love them. Because God can see the scope of eternity. They can't. They see the now. They see the here. They're fools. And they'll pay for it in the end. Mark my words. Okay, I love you. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to keep putting out my version of the news. And you're going to keep listening because, well, I love you. Bye.